Hi everyone, today I'm visiting Nextdoor Systems uh, near Versailles, south of Paris. Uh, they are showing us exclusively the new rapid fire naval gun system. They are developing it in collaboration with uh, Thales, the French uh, defense electronics company. Uh, this weapon system will be fitted on the future uh, logistics support ship of the French Navy, uh, the first one of which will be uh, launched uh, pretty soon. Gentlemen, good morning. So can you please introduce the, the rapid fire to us? Uh, first, is it a closing weapon system, a series, or is it a naval gun system? Uh, this system is both surface surface system and surface air defense system. It can do both at the same time, depending on the threats against the ship. It is developed based on the Jaguar system and the experience of Thales regarding all the air defense system. What is the role of uh, Thales in the, in the program? Yeah, we are jointly uh, working on it with an extern, between Nexter and Thales. Thales, uh, you, regarding as the well-known air defense capabilities with all the chain about, uh, uh, from the site, the optronic site, which is embedded onto the turret till the algorithm and the uh, uh, firing post for the, the operator. The system is a kind of plug and play system. Roughly speaking, you can install it on any ship. There is the control system uh, developed by Thales and the turret itself. And it's a kind of plug and play. You can install it on a brand new ship or when uh, you do some uh, refurb Upgrade, upgrade of the retrofit of a ship. It is. Uh, it can detect by itself any threats, follow the threats, and destroy the threats, whatever is the threats. Yeah, the, the both uh, modes are uh, available, either integrated with the CMS or either in, in an autonomous mode, thanks to the full uh, chain uh, we described previously with the site the system can be operated alone, autonomously. The objective is to have a system which can be used even if the boat has been attacked and is already damaged and to be able to continue to defend the boat. So you're holding a quite uh, interesting uh, model of one of the ammunitions available for the rapid fire. Can you tell us what it is? Yeah, this ammunition is a new ammunition that is under development within uh, CTA, uh, subsidiaries of Nextair. And the objective of, of this ammunition is to be able to send a lot of projectile in one place in 3D dimensions and to be able to destroy any kind of threats within a range of uh, 2.5 to 4 kilometers. And uh, which kind of uh, air targets uh, can you destroy with this ammunition? Whatever you think about uh, drones and uh, helicopters and s things like that. The, the, the main uh, advantage is uh, against uh, emerging threats and yeah. such as uh, drones, UAVs and uh, loitering ammunition. Exactly. That's the main advantage. After, in the point of technology, the other advantage is the size of the ammunition. It's based on the experience that we have on Jaguar also that we develop with Thales again. And uh, if we compare this ammunition to the other 40 mm ammunition, in terms of logistic, uh, dimension and so on, is a, it, there is a huge advantage. Uh, in your opinion, what makes uh, the rapid fire unique compared to current and existing uh, naval gun systems or series? Yeah, thanks to our ar architecture of the system with embedded uh, uh, site mounted onto the turret, uh, we are very, very accurate. So we, we use uh, the cost per engagement will be low with high uh, efficiency and especially with the new uh, ammunition, uh, with the spread of pellets onto some uh, emerging threats like, like the drone you, you spoke about uh, and the, the accuracy of the system, uh, it will be very, very efficient. We discussed the A3B airburst ammunition, but the rapid fire can deploy a whole family of uh, case telescoped ammunitions. Can you please tell us more? Yes, of course. We, are, we have up to six ammunitions. 
APF-SDS, which is uh, the armor-piercing ammunition. We've got the general-purpose ammunition, the classic one. We've got the s the one we, are, we have already discussed. We've got the airburst one, which is very useful on ground defense. And we've got the one for training purpose. And if we compare it to the 40 millimeter from before, we see that in terms of size and so logistic and capability to integrate within, uh, within a turret, it's really more easier with a 40 CT ammunition. So that's one of the key advantages. The form factor is much smaller, allowing to carry more ammunition in the turret. Exactly, to carry more ammunition and also to have all the ammunition ready to, f to be fired within the turret. And depending on the threats and the scenario to destroy the threats, we can select the right ammunition to be able to be the more efficient in um, managing the threats. And of course, which is very useful as well, is, is, this is exactly the same ammunition as Jaguar. So in terms of logistics and compatibility with the, within the armies, it's very useful. Gentlemen, what's next for the program? So the next steps in the program, the first one is uh, to install the first system or the first boat, and then to launch the development or to continue the development of the anti-aerial ammunition, the S3B ammunition, and then to be able, if possibilities, to install the system on other French Navy boats and to develop the uh, foreign market with uh, some opportunities abroad. Yeah, we have some interest, I will say, in the export market, on either on the ships with navies or uh, for air armies uh, worldwide. Very well. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you.